favorite part. And now for some target practice. Too high. Hmm, too far left. There! Got the range now. It's cookies for dinner tonight, Mr. Nelson. Not to mention breakfast and lunch. It's still going. Yeah, it's almost like it's chasing Mrs. Priscillius. What on earth? Shoo! Go away! <laughs> Your distance, you, you Sunday driver! Oh, <laughs> 
ready. What on earth was that? I hope Horse didn't fall off the roof. No, he wasn't on the roof. It must have been something else. Oh, good! Visitors! <laughs> Why, Mrs. Brasilius, how nice of you to drop in. Did you hear I was baking cookies? Sad to say they aren't ready yet. Why don't you come back a little later? Is this your barrel? I think you mean, was it my barrel? Mmm. It sure tastes like mine. Why the nerve? This barrel almost ran over me. Well, look what you did to it. That is not amusing. Stop this impudence immediately. There's no excuse for your behavior, young lady. It's about time you grew up and learned to behave properly. I don't think I'd like that. What you'd like is of no importance. Everyone has to grow up. I had to grow up, and so will you. Then you'll have to act like a lady, just like me. What a charming tea party, Miss Longstocking. So quiet, so peaceful, so ladylike. How kind of you to say so, my dear Mrs. Priscillius. So wonderfully free of those bothersome children. Indeed. Children should be seen and not heard. Or not seen at all. <laughs> <laughs> quite, 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 quite. You are quite impossible, Pippi Longstocking, but you'll change soon enough. I guarantee it. No, I won't ever grow up. I won't. That's okay with me. Who wants to be a grown-up anyway? Not me. Grown-ups are so boring. <laughs> hey, what's that smell? <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> Just in time. Cookies! Hooray! Yeah. Delicious as usual. Nobody makes cookies like you, Pippi. But these are Christmas cookies. Why are you making them four months ahead? Because I'm hungry now. Let's see. What shall we do now? I know. Let's go thing finding. Thing finding? How do you do that? Simple. You just go out and find things. Can anyone do it? Anyone except grown-ups. They're terrible at it. Come on, I'll show you. We can go thing finding right now. Are there any rules? Just one. As long as something's on the ground, you can find it. And it's yours. You mean you can take anything? Certainly you can. As long as it's lying on the... Aha! What a find! What a find! What is it? A rusty old can, of course. What else could it be? But what do you want it for? Well, lots of reasons. I could use it as a cookie jar, for example. Or maybe a cookie-less jar, for that matter. In fact, I think it is a cookie-less jar. But we'll have to take it home and test it to find out. I hope we find something better than that. Better than that. Hmm, I doubt it. But anything's possible. As a matter of fact, that is what I call a real find. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait, Pippi. He's mine. I found him first. Today's my lucky day. But, but that's Mr. Gustafson. isn't he? And I'm a thing finder. See? 
He hasn't complained at all. But what do you want him for anyway? Oh, for lots of things. He'd make a great doorstop. Or he could scare away burglars. Careful! He's waking up! Uh-oh! <laughs> Good afternoon! I found you. Aren't you pleased? I am. Uh, hi. Huh? Ah! Hey, what's going on here? Put me down. I will after I get you home. Get me home? I am home. Put me down this instant. Pippi! Oh, all right, but that's not the true spirit of thing-finding. Just who do you think you are barging into my garden like this? Don't you know? I'm Pippi Longstocking. Yes, yes, but what do you think you're doing? I don't think I'm doing anything. That would be thing-finding. Now listen, young lady. You can't just go around finding people and picking them up. That's childish behavior. One day you'll have to grow up and act responsibly whether you want to or not. I don't. But that doesn't matter. Sooner or later, you'll have to behave like a grown-up. Mark my words. <laughs> Grown-ups Incorporated, Ms. Longstocking speaking. How may I help you? Pippi, it's Annika. I thought maybe we could go for a walk like the old days. A walk? You mean, with our legs? Hmm, interesting concept. Let me check my calendar. No, no, um, no good. Um, busy. Aha, here we are. I can fit in a 15-minute walk on the 29th of next month from 10.45 to 11 p.m. Gee, I was thinking of this afternoon. Never mind. Hello? Annika? Wait! 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 Annika? I didn't go anywhere. I did. I'm sorry, Mr. Gustafson, but I was just doing my job as a thing finder. If you don't want to be found, you shouldn't leave yourself lying around. Let's go home. Children. Pippi, you just can't do that sort of thing. Wait till my mother hears about this. We'll be in trouble for sure. Did you ever notice? The more trouble you're in, the more fun you're usually having. But, you know, it's all the same to me. I'm never going to grow up anyway. Besides, who's the best pear thrower? It's a perfect day for fishing. Isn't every day perfect for fishing? That's true. Oh. If only we didn't have to work. Hey! That wasn't funny. What wasn't? <laughs> Well, if you didn't do it, who did? How would I know? Maybe it was a bird or a fish. The best pear thrower! <laughs> There's something fishy going on. I think it's time we investigate. Just what do you think you're doing? Hello, Officer Kling. We're having a pear throw. Put that fruit down. This is a serious matter. That's right. You've broken the law. Lots of laws. We have? Like what? We'll tell you. Assault with a deadly fruit, for one. Grand theft pear. Obstruction by fruit or vegetable. Splotching a police car. Not to mention splotching policemen. Oh. But we didn't know you were there. We're not criminals, we're just kids. What's the difference? You see, grown-ups never understand. We're sorry, we were just having fun. 
fun. That's the trouble with children today. All they think about is fun. Are you going to arrest us? Wouldn't you rather be fishing or something? Fishing? Now that you mention it... Mm, all right, we'll let you off with a warning this time. But remember, if you break the law when you're grown up, we'll have to throw you in jail. There's no chance of that. I'm not growing up at all. That's against the law, too. Page one, rule one, everybody has to grow up. Even children. Especially children. Only nine years old, and already my best years are behind me. Phooey, I don't ever want to grow up. Me neither. Grown-ups never have any fun. All they do is work. And pay taxes. Mr. Nelson. in Siberia. Or was it San Francisco? Anyway, they ate them all the time, and I never saw a single one of them grow up. They look like jelly beans to me. Me too. Let's see how they taste. Stop! Ah! Phew! <laughs> that was close. If you eat a bean without saying the right words, terrible things can happen. What words? Let's see now. Oh, yes. Little Squiggle, you are clever. I don't want to grow up ever. You mean grow up ever. I mean grew up. I once knew a boy who said grow up instead of grew up, and... <sighs> what happened to him? He started growing, of course. <laughs> He grew and grew without stopping. Until finally he stood up and took the whole roof off. What happened to the boy? 
I suppose he's still creating havoc in the traffic somewhere. We'd better be careful. What if we say the wrong words? We won't. Just say it with me. But wait till I turn out the light. They have to be said by candlelight. Here's one for you, and one for you. Now we'll all say the words together. Wait, this is a big step. Are we sure we don't want to grow up? If you're lucky, you'll grow up just like me. One day you'll have to grow up and act responsibly. Not growing up is against the law. Well, I'm sure. That's for sure. Me too. Me too. But aren't you scared, Pippi? Certainly. I'm scared. Scared of growing up. Here we go. One, two, three. Little Squiggle, you are clever. I don't want to grow up ever. Hey, mine's licorice. And mine's orange. Delicious! Who's that? Tommy, Annika, are you in there? It's Mother. Have you two lost track of the time? Dinner's almost ready. Sorry, we were... Uh, just playing. That's nice. I'm glad you're enjoying yourselves while you're still young. Grown-ups don't always have time for fun. I've noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, good night, Pippi. Good night. And don't worry, Mrs. Sedegrin. Grown-ups may not have time for fun, but we've got all the time in the world. <laughs> <laughs> be working, Mr. Nilsson. It's been two whole hours, and I feel exactly the same age already. <laughs> I think we should celebrate. <laughs> Wahoo! Wahoo! <laughs> There's Pippi doing her nightly exercises. <laughs> Do you think the beans will really work? Maybe not on us but I'm sure they will on Pippi. She'll always be the same. 